I replaced six tools with free, open source and self-hostable alternatives and it's saving me more than $10,000 every year. And not only that, my team and I got much more productive after changing these tools. I bet you're already very familiar with Notion, Zapier, Make, Airtable, Posthog and a lot of other of these fashionable SaaS tools. But I also bet that you probably haven't heard of these free and self-hostable alternatives that we replaced them with. So I want to bring them to your attention. In this video, I'll show you six amazing free tools that you can use to run your business. If you're new to this channel, welcome here. I'm Simon Harberg and I'm the founder of a SaaS portfolio consisting of four bootstrapped SaaS products to handle social media, AI customer support, link tracking and graphics design. We are a small and fully remote startup team and this year we are in the process of leaving the cloud. And what better place to start than to replace a lot of the expensive SaaS tools we use with free self-hostable alternatives that we host on our own servers. Let's go. The first tool we're replacing is Notion. And I'll be honest, it's actually a bit sad. We changed from ClickUp to Notion a few years back and it was such a massive improvement. And I got so hooked on this tool that I quickly ended up covering both internal wiki, project management and for content too. We used Notion together with Make to write both newsletters and blog posts directly in Notion's editor and then using automation to publish and send it out. But Notion was starting to run a bit expensive with their per seat pricing. And if I'm being honest, I think they're trying a bit too hard to become an everything app. At least for my team and I, things just started to get a bit chaotic. So we're branching out three separate responsibilities and replacing them with each their own tool. For internal wiki and documentation, we're now using Docmost. It reminds a lot of Notion, but it only covers the docs and notes part. And it does that really well. Docmost is completely free and open source and very easy to deploy to either your own servers or your cloud platform of choice. For project management, we're now using Plain. Very simple, minimalistic project management tool that covers exactly what you need to collaborate. No more, no less. You can self-host Plain for free, but they actually sell an upgraded version of their software as a lifetime deal. It's $7.99 one time, and then you get access to additional useful features such as cycles, time tracking, and real-time collaboration. We picked up this lifetime deal. I can only recommend it. Finally, for blogs and newsletters, we're now using an actual CMS. It's called Strappy, and it's a perfect solution for small teams. If you can live without single sign-on and support, they have a free version that you can self-host. Two other tools that were getting really expensive for us were Zapier and Make. In all fairness, we almost left Zapier altogether throughout 2024. The whole platform experience was just getting unbearably slow and clunky. For a long time, Make was our go-to. It was a more lightweight, faster and more affordable alternative to Zapier. This worked well for a while, until Make started to feel more and more like Zapier. Sluggish, kind of clunky to navigate and as your workflows get more complex and start piling up, prices get up there too. So we made a decision and replaced both Zapier and Make entirely with this tool called N8N. Not only do you get unlimited workflows if you self-host N8N, but it is also a much, much better tool. N8N is a really powerful automation tool, but it is also the tool that has the best fully working AI agent implementation I have tried. I have a whole video where I show you how I built AI agents in N8N. I'll drop that at the end of this video, so stick around for that. The next tool on the list is our Airtable alternative. To be honest, I actually don't have anything negative to say about Airtable. It's a wonderful tool. It's been around for a long time and even though it's a total beast, it's still a delight to use it. Pricing is also fair, but since we're already down the rabbit hole here, we decided to replace Airtable with a free self-hostable alternative too. And that's NoCodeDB. Super cool Airtable alternative. It's more simple, but absolutely gets the job done. And yes, they have a free community edition that you can self-host too. And with a database tool like this, it actually gives you the added benefit of keeping your data totally private when it's hosted on your own servers. Now, as a SaaS business, you need analytics. It is just such a super important part of your work. I've used a bunch of different tools and the only ones that are decent are Amplitude and Posthoc, both expensive, both super clunky, slow, and endlessly frustrating to use. And the thing is, you still can't get them to report accurately. 
Ask anyone. I don't know a single founder who doesn't struggle with analytics in one way or another. And at some point, accept that it's just never going to report exactly how you would like it. Until recently. I made a decision a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with, but it just finally works. And it's free. Hear me out. I set up a Postgres database, started manually logging my events, and then using Grafana to visualize it. I have never had better analytics than this. I can use SQL to describe exactly how I want my data aggregated and visualized. And Grafana is surprisingly intuitive, even though it's a pretty advanced tool. Now I get product analytics where I have all other metrics as well as logs. It's super fast, I can customize it exactly in the way I want, and if you suck at SQL, like I do, ChatGPT is very, very good at it. And it will help you get your queries just right so you can finally report things accurately. As a bonus, I want to add DeepSeek to the list. I'm sure you've heard all about it, but DeepSeek is a new AI model that performs on the same level as ChatGPT, but require much less resources. And it's open source. You can literally go to Hocking Face and download the models. You can then either run these models locally if your computer has the right specs, or if you have users to serve, you can get a GPU line on Hetzner for just 184 euros per month and host the models here. Now you have your own ChatGPT for a fixed monthly cost. This is absolutely something I'm very excited to try out. As you may know, I'm offering lifetime access to all of my four SaaS products for a single one-time purchase. And when it comes to lifetime deals, keeping your costs low and predictable is crucial. Two of the products that are included in this offer are using AI quite extensively. So if there's anything that can get me really excited, it's the thought of AI at a fixed cost. And it seems like we're finally getting there. As always, I have added links to all of these resources in the description below. So please go check it out. See if it's something you can use too. And remember to go star them all on GitHub. The acknowledgement means a whole lot for these projects. If you want to see how I put together an AI agent using N8N and Feedhive, go watch this video next. See you over there.